Hi, and welcome to GTAC TechTube. This video will show you how to use the Omnicast backup tool to backup your registry and databases. The tool can be found on our GTAP under Tools, Utilities, and the Genetech Tools section. The file is called Omnicast Backup Tool. The zip file contains the release notes and the Omni Backup file, which is the Omnicast Backup Tool. Make sure to extract the backup tool to a folder on your local drive. Then, open the server admin and under directory, you can find the names of the databases that are affected by the directory service. First of all, the directory database, which is called directory SQL, unless you modified it. Then, the alarm database, which is called alarm SQL, unless once again you modified the default name. Then, open a command prompt. To open a command prompt, you need to click Start, All Programs, Accessories, and select Command Prompt. Make sure you browse to the folder that contains the Omni Backup file you extracted earlier. Personally, I copied the file to a folder called Omnicast Backup on the C drive. That is why my path shows C backslash Omnicast Backup. With the Omnicast Backup tool, you can either do a default backup or a custom backup. The default backup is basically the backup tool backing up the directory SQL, the alarm SQL, and the registry to a folder called Omnicast Backup on the C drive, which is, in this case, the same folder where I copied the Omni Backup, but it's not necessary to copy the Omnicast Backup tool to the same folder. You can also do a custom backup, which I will explain later. The next step is to type the name of the file you're going to run, which in this case is omnibackup.exe. Then type dash "-b", for backup, and then enter. What this default backup does is that it backs up the directory database, the alarm database, as well as the registry to a zip file in the Omnicast backup folder. Once you hit enter, you can see the progress. When the backup is complete, you can notice the location and the name of the zip file, which are highlighted in red in the video. You can also verify under the correct folder that the zip file has been created. I will now run a short test to make sure that the backup worked. It is not necessary for you to do this on your system, it is just a way for me to show you that the backup did work. So in the server admin, under directory, you can view the database properties. For the directory database, I have 153 entities. If I go to the config tool and log in as an Omnicast administrator, I can modify the entity count. In this case, I will delete an alarm. So I will change view and go to the alarm management. Then I will expand the alarms, select anyone and delete it. If you go back to the server admin and verify the entity count, you can notice it went down by one. Now let's restore the databases we backed up and verify that the entity count will go back to 153. Before restoring databases, you need to stop all services affected by these databases. Seeing as I'm doing a default restore and I'm restoring the directory SQL and the alarm SQL, I will have to stop the directory service. If you do not stop the service, the restore will not be completed and you will get an error message on the Omnicast backup tool. So if you go back to the command prompt, still under the location of the Omni backup file, you type the Omni backup.exe, then dash R for restore, space the location of the folder and the name of the zip file that contains the databases you want to restore. Then hit enter. The tool will then prompt you to make sure you do want to override the registries. 
press Y for yes, then hit enter. If you backed up databases on one server and you're restoring them on a different server, you will get different prompts. Make sure to read the message and answer appropriately. The restore is now complete. You can now restart the services you stopped, in this case the directory service. To continue the test I was doing previously, I will show you the entity count after the restore. My database properties show 153 entities which was the number I had before deleting my alarm. If I go back to the config tool, under alarm management, you can notice that the alarm I deleted before the restore is now back. You can also use the Omnicast backup tool to do a custom backup. If you go back to the server admin, under archiver and then archiving, you can find the name of the archiver database. The default name is Video Archive SQL. A custom backup can be many things, including changing the location of the folder you're backing up to, the databases you're backing up, and if you're backing up the register or not. And if you go back to the command prompt, still under the location that contains the backup tool, type omnibackup.exe-b for backup, space name a folder if you want to modify the location of the zip file that will be created, then space dash db to backup databases and dash d to name the databases. In this example, I'll back up the directory SQL, then dash d and name a different database which will be video archive SQL and dash reg to back up the registry. This command will back up the directory SQL, the video archive SQL and the registry to a folder called backup on the C drive. If you want to restore a custom backup, you need to stop all services affected by the databases you're gonna restore. I will now restore the zip file that I created previously which contains the archiver database and the directory database as well as the registries. So I will have to stop the archiver and the directory. If you go back to the command prompt, you can restore the databases. Type omnibackup.exe, then dash R for restore, the folder that contains the zip file as well as the zip file you want to restore. This command will restore everything contained in the zip file. If you wish to restore only one database contained in the zip file, you can do so. For the specific command, please consult the Omnicast Backup Tool release notes. Once you hit enter, you will have to press Y to specify that you are sure you want to override the registries. Once the restore is complete, you can start the services and use your system again. Thank you for watching this video about the Omnicast Backup Tool.